So in this video, we're going to see how much of valuable the outfitting slot is in Infinite Galaxy. There's some major changes that Infinite Galaxy have done for the auxiliary flagship. So what we're going to do is, we're, first of all, we're going to quickly remove everything. And I don't have all the equipments in here, so we're going to remove everything. And um, we're going to do some really good testing here today for you guys. We're going to try and defeat this level 34 without any gear. I know I can defeat the level 34 because I've just killed it here. So we're going to see by removing the gear, how much of a difference would the results be? As you can see, I can still defeat it easily because we have our puff because we've used it for an event. And let's take a look in the report here today. Let's take a look in the battle power, 7,207. As you can see, there's a big difference in the battle power there. Power loss is 4,758, huge, huge power lost. And 23K survivors, 24K there. Okay, so let's, let's get on to trying a uh, setup in here with full gear this time. All right, so now we have the gear on the lasers and we have HP modules as well. Um, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put this instead. All right, so now we're going to look into this. My auxiliary flagship does not have any, any gear at all. So we're going to go and fight this level 34. I want you guys to see how much difference it would be when you have a solid gear because just by testing it on pirates, you will definitely see how strong your setup is and see how much power boost that we're going to be able to bring in in here. So this is going to be a full geared with the main ship. All right. I want you guys to pay attention onto the remaining as well. It should be relatively close. All right, now take a look, 7,000, 7,690, huge gap difference there. This is, um, this battle in here, we had um, the Odysseus, which is the auxiliary flagship, um, have a gear as well, outfitting gear. 24K survivors, 23K survivors, we had more survivors in here, damage, much lower damage ships. Um, as you can see, the kills in here is 10 grand. In here, is 7K. Huge difference, 7K with the gears. So gears really plays a big role in the game. All right, so now that we've established that the gear is a huge thing, but what about having gear on your secondary flagship? So we're going to try to change things up in here. We're going to remove everything again. Bear with me here. We're going to equip a few lasers in here. All right. We're going to equip maybe three, three lasers in here today. We're going to equip two lasers right now. All right. Two lasers and two HP module, which is going to be, we need to find something that is going to be consistent throughout. Uh, I don't think I have it right now to do a consistent throughout. I think, okay, we can do a blue, both blue. All right. All right, so with that testing, let's see. All right, so let's see this. Our base report that we're going to look into is not going to be this one, but it's going to be this. So I'm going to go and delete this. All right, this is going to be our base report, all right? So this is when we did not have any equipment at all. So this is when I'm equipping. So this is when we're equipping four outfitting equipments in here. And we're going to take a look into the report and how much difference this is going to be. All right. And once again, we're going to be able to defeat it. Should be relatively easy. Take a look into the battle report. Much higher battle power. Survivors. Much more survivors. Damaged. Much less much less damage ships all right killed all right you can see this the differences on the killed as well all right now let's do a test for the auxiliary flagship and how is this going to differ in here all right for the auxiliary flagship we're going to equip two again uh, i see i ran out 
Instead, I'm going to just equip this. All right, this is a huge buff, okay? That's a huge, huge weapon buff there. That's 19.4%. And then we're going to equip some... Um, and then we're also going to equip some defensive items in here. All right, let's equip this as well. Now, we're just trying to do this because I don't have all the equipments to, to showcase in here. I can't accommodate for all of that. So let's go and defeat this. Let's see if it's going to really take effect and how much difference it is going to be. See, the key things that we're doing here in the testing, I wanted to sh show to you guys and explain to you guys that this update with having the auxiliary flagship, you know, take effect with their um, outfitting gears in here. Because as you can see, they've added that information now. Um, it's here number four, auxiliary flagship outfitting takes full effect. In the previous update that they have said, it's not going to take effect. So they've made some changes in here, but why? I don't like it, honestly. So as you can see, survivors, we had way more survivors with the gear being effective in there. And then damage ships, okay? So this is 1670, this is 1400. So I had way, way less damage ship in here. Kills. 7,000 there, 7,000. This is 9,000, huge difference. Now, I want you to think about this in the sense right now. We only equip a few gears there. It's not even completely like maxed out there, not decked out so much. Imagine if there is a, a comparison between free to play, low spender, medium spender, and a whale, and a big spender. If for me, I'd say I'm in the top range of the spending right now but not completely like crazy to where i'm able to get every single bundle every day um think about this if somebody who is like super whale and able to deck out the second war and able to deck out the second flagship which is the auxiliary flagship just imagine how much that would be like in terms of power and how much they can be able to contribute in fights that is actually insane it's huge so honestly most people don't realize this as a content creator we're trying to like for me i'm trying to push that this auxiliary flagship taking effect with some of the gears i think it's it's a bad idea for it to be implemented especially at this stage of the game i don't think everybody is really ready for it I know I am not ready for it. I know a lot of players in our alliance doesn't really appreciate the update with that. It's a huge imbalance and a huge gap between free to play, slow spender, medium spender, and big spender. We want to be able to have the low spender, medium spender, and free to play to be able to enjoy and fight and with you know good balance as well. Now we understand that you know pay to wins are always going to have a huge advantage but when you create this type of sequence of mechanics it makes a huge gap now where am i going to see a huge gap for this really it might not be necessarily into fighting but it could lead up into events which some of the free to play have actually or low spender have been doing a great job into ranking up We've seen here in our individual rankings, the top two here, they're not huge, huge spenders, actually. Um, Pitbull did use a lot of flagship there. I was only using one flagship just in my defense. Um, but Surreal is much, much lower spender than Pitbull in here. And, you know, with them using their flagships and auxiliary flagship, if we end up trying to fight, hypothetically, I set up my you know my flagship there and deck it out with amazing legendaries for boat ships and i can just wreck them in a one-on-one -on -one versus in a one-on-one -on -one scenario and as well as i can if i really try my best win those events and take the rewards and then these you know medium spenders lower spenders are free to play will have a lower chance of winning or trying to get better rewards but in the same in the same sense that if you're in the same alliance with them then you're in luck because if you have these super mega whales it will definitely help your alliance so there is catch 22 in this type of update but i want to know 
What do you think about this update? Do you think this is something that you're interested for Camel Games to keep? Do you think that this update is something that is actually beneficial for every single type of player? Or do you think this is only going to be beneficial for whales? And should they remove this update and maintain the you know, outfitting factory and maintain outfitting slot only for the main ships? But, you know, honestly, for me, I would rather for them to maintain it for the main ships because the investment on gears is going to be absolutely insane. Now, here's another catch. What if Camel Games said, okay... We're gonna make it. We're gonna keep it for both flagships, for auxiliary flagships and the main flagship. But we're gonna improve the drops of equipments. We're gonna improve the drops of materials, so that free to play and spenders can obtain this freely in the low spenders and medium spenders, right? But in that sense, that might be something that I might accept because it gives us more hope and more chance to kind of compete against the pay to win now you bring the balance in there but then if the pay to win or the mega spender want to spend a line to the gear they can also do it but they'll have a tougher competition because if there's a smart free-to-play player or there's a smart low spender player or a medium spender player they can definitely out compete the pay to win but that's just my own opinion in here let me know what you guys think i will see you again next time my intergalactic friends don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and don't forget to smash that like button for us in here